but she was still at work and you know she told, she told me you know be there around 8 30 9 o'clock she told me that that, that my, uh, my my nephew and, and my niece were going to be there i was very excited to meet them too and i was flabbergasted the first time he called me unk i was like what you know i'm, I'm getting old you know and i'm an unk now it felt weird but when i saw them all for the first time they just stared at me stared at me for a long time they all said I looked just like my father, just a light-skinned version of him, a younger, light-skinned version of my father. To them, they, to them, it was almost creepy how much I looked like him and how much my mannerisms were, were, were like his because I'd never met him before. I even somewhat sounded like him when I talked. This is my older sister. I blurred out her face because getting her and I are not, in, are not on good terms right now ever since my father passed away, but I'll get into that later. And it was a great meeting, man. I spent like two days there. You know, I, we, we hung out, we ate, we, 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 we talked. And I got to know part of the black side of my family. I got to know some history of the black side of my family. I went to see my grandmother's grave. You know, it was awesome just to see that and have and be able to talk to her grave for a couple minutes. It was crazy. I was introducing myself to my dead grandmother. But again, I felt connected to the black side of my family. I felt I belonged somewhere. I felt, you know, again, I'm not just some lonely uh, biracial that they didn't belong anywhere. For the first time in my life, I had family. And it was weird for me because I, I didn't know how to be a brother. I didn't know how to be an uncle. I, my whole life, I was just me. I was just by myself. And it was all awkward for me, you know? I was just so afraid that I was going to mess this up somehow because I didn't, I didn't know how to be a brother. You know, I didn't know, I didn't know how to, to be an uncle. I, I didn't know how to be a family member. You know, I had just gotten married to my wife and we had our first kid. So I was learning how to be a husband. I was learning how to be a father. But all this having family was, was a strange new feeling for me. And it was a scary feeling for me because having family made me vulnerable. And I hated being vulnerable. I hated having people there that could hurt me. Because my entire life, you know, I kept people away, kept people far away from me at a distance. That's why I had so many failed relationships, because I'd never let anyone get close. So I figured if they couldn't get close, they couldn't hurt me. If they couldn't hurt me, then, then my life was great. I was afraid to let anyone inside. And my wife was the first person that, that I let inside. 